let's introduce our guests. All righty. My lovely assistant, Taryn, will introduce our guest for today. Taryn? Our first guest for today will be Melody Christensen. Oh, okay. Yay! Come on up, Melody, have a seat up there, okay. And? And our second guest is a cheesehead from Wisconsin. Yay, cheeseheads! Yay, cheeseheads! Right. Cheeseheads. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for having us. Welcome to the hearing show. We're going to be talking about hearing with you two. We're going to be talking about all kinds of hearing. So, Melody, Melody, uh, we want to start with you just a little bit. Mind this picture? Don't freak, don't let me slip out of this picture now. <laughs> yeah, that would be comfy. But Melody, uh, you're from where? Denver. Denver, but you're not really from Denver. Well, okay, I'm from Lakewood, but here's Denver, here's Lakewood. All right, you Lakewood, Colorado. Yeah. Lakewood, Colorado. Can we see Lakewood, Colorado? Can right, you see that? There. there it is. There's Lakewood, Colorado. All right. <laughs> okay, so, so what happened? Did your folks, after they get married, did they like move to the mountains and have hippie chicks? No. <laughs> I mean, I, the spelling of your first name. It's crazy, right? Yeah. So, so, so my sisters spell their name with an E I G H too. Their what's names your are, sister? Um, Ashley and Brandy. Well, Ashley with an E I G H is that is that a common name? Ashley, give me a hand if that's if that's a common name. Ashley with an E I G H. L E Y. <laughs> Brandy? Brandy, B R A N D E I G H. I suspect that your parents were. Kindergarten hippie types. was hard. Hippie types. <laughs> they were kindergarten what? was hard. I said kindergarten was hard. <laughs> kindergarten was hard. I bet it was. I bet it was. And Catherine? Catherine? Mm -hmm. Goes by Katie. Kate. Kate. Mm -hmm. Kate. Goes by Kate. Catherine goes by Kate. Mm -hmm. uh, though I'd plain Kate. Uh, um, and, and you pronounce your last name. Stakey or Stachy? Stocky. Stocky, neither. Stachy, Got it wrong. You know, whatever you want. Got it wrong. That's that's a nice Indian name, right? No, it's German. That's a nice Indian name because you come from <laughs> Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Yes. Okay, is that is Oconomowoc near Milwaukee? Um, it's about forty-five minutes from Milwaukee. Yes. Like okay, which way? Toward Madison, Madison okay. or? Yeah. Okay, so it's on it's on the high, it's on the interstate toward Madison. I know I've drove, driven through that. What is Oconomowoc famous for besides being Oconomowoc and making cheese? Beer. Beer. What beer is brewed there? Um, no, we just drink a lot of beer. Oh, we just drink a lot of beer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have a great song about Wisconsin that goes beer, 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 church, beer, yeah, okay, bar, not a lot of church. Church, church, bar, is. church, bar, 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 yeah, mm -hmm. lakes, you know. yeah. So a lot of beer, mm -hmm. and you can drink beer when you're 18 in Wisconsin, right? You can drink beer whenever you want. There's a law that as long as your parents give you consent, you can go to the bar and they can order you a beer. And this is cool. Let's go. This is cool. Yeah. Parent, if your folks, if your folks would, uh, so your folks like were taking you out for drunken orgies yeah. from the time you were five. I've been enjoying them, yeah. You've been enjoying Since that beer. That's, 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 that's why. You, time. So <laughs> beer is actually beer is actually birthday uh, parties. That was the drink of choice. Okay. So beer is actually something that will keep you <laughs> slim and smart, <laughs> right? Yes. Well, I gotta give me a Wisconsin. Slim beer. and smart. <laughs> okay. All right, Mel, you're on the softball team. Yes. Okay, how's that going yes. for you? Oh, it's going. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's going. It's a lot of work, but it's fun. So is Causey supportive? Uh, Does she cheer for <laughs> yeah. you? Yes. And you're, you're, are you playing varsity? No. Just playing JV? Mm -hmm. Okay. So who else in here is on the team? You? Taryn. Taryn. Causey. Causey. <laughs> Stephen would like Steven to be on. Stephen would like to be on the team. I like softball. He it's likes fun. softball. <laughs> Why does Stephen like softball? Because he likes balls. Because Jake. Huh? The audience. Let's let's have a little help from the audience. Stephen likes softball because he likes balls. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the meaning I had in mind. So. I was thinking girls. Okay. He likes to type <laughs> but hey, you know. I have my own folks. Okay, Katie, are you on a, are you on a sport or no, team? No, I am not. You are not on a sport or a team. No. Are you playing in the in the band or orchestra? No. 
Uh, you are a music fan, though. You are a listener. I do like classical music. You like classical music. So who's your favorite I'm a jazz composer? man myself. I, you know, I just listen to the stations. I'm going to go back to my room and put on Pandora. So when you put on Pandora, you just it's just whatever classical mix they've got going. You're not like a big Wagner fan. I am a huge Wagner fan. I I love the Valkyries. I love the Ring Cycle. And I love all that German music. Da, 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 da. You know, Siegfried singing. Ah, oh, it's wonderful stuff. But you you just like anything, right? I'm also a big Mozart fan. What do you think of Mozart? Well, see, like when I listen to music, they don't say who it is, they just keep playing it. Right, right, and if you come in in the middle of classical music, they don't go, and that was Amadeus Mozart. Yeah. In the middle of the piece, they just it's just either yeah, at the beginning just... or the end, and sometimes they don't even do that. Okay, the question though, Katie, on everybody's mind, are you a blonde? <laughs> well... Legally. I don't even know what it says on my driver's license. What, what does it say? I don't know. I mean, I think it says brown. I mean, don't you think that every time? Cody. The back, oh. of, the back oh. of your hair. No, I don't dye my hair. I do, well, I don't dye it completely. I get highlights. Fighting, but, you know, to bring out my I natural mean, brown. Couldn't you call it dirty blonde or dishwater blonde that some people have in this classroom? I would say I'm a dirty blonde. Yeah. Okay, so. So what's it like to be a blonde? Well, truthfully, what's it like to be a blonde? It's nice to blame, you know, stupid things I do on being a blonde, but... I mean, we have women in this in this classroom who are blonder mm -hmm. than herself. You know, Taryn is a beautiful blonde. Taryn's a beautiful blonde. She, she is. a beautiful blonde. Mm -hmm. Two shots out. Do we expect them to be stupider? I like oh. it. No. No. Okay, so... Blonde jokes are funny. Blonde jokes are funny. Blonde jokes are funny. Do you know any good ones? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is okay. my mom's favorite. All right. So two blondes, it's kind of older. Two blondes are driving in a station wagon on their way to Disney World. And they see a sign, sta um, Disney World um, Disney World left. So they turn around and leave. <laughs> Get it? Because Disney World left? <laughs> <laughs> that was good, though. That was good, though. All right. Moving, moving on to serious stuff. Moving on to serious stuff, ladies. We want to talk a little bit about listening. How important to you is it that people listen to you? Super important. She's not a big deal. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. No, it's just nice to be understood and uh -huh. you feel respect when people listen to you. And uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Take it away. I say important things no. and that I need to be heard <laughs> and listen to you. And then when I ask a question about it and like, say, my mom or my boyfriend, and then when they don't respond, I'm like, okay, did you even hear what I said? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. so, so how important is it that, that people listen to you? Did you hear what I said? Yeah. There you go, there you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> good job, good job. Super. Good job. It, Super on the team. Important. On the team. How important is team play and listening? Oh, huge. Communication is critical. Exactly. We have people r running into each other all the time. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> so, so, so you're at first base, right? Yes. Can you hear the dugout from where you are at first base? Yep. So when Janice is just flapping her lips. <laughs> well, it depends mm. if I've tuned that out yet or not. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. But, but I mean, is it hard to hear the coach? Is it harder to hear the coach than the players? Um, sometimes it is. I mean, like, especially game like situations your adrenaline's going so right right you're so focused you, on whatever. so when your adrenaline's going do you focus out do you focus out the coach and you just go yada 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 no not necessarily I mean, she always says things that'll help you out so but it's just hard to distinguish the voices ah you really uh, have to, to discriminate focus between in, yeah. with, as we said discriminate exactly. between meaningful and meaningless <laughs> mm -hmm. sound so with the boyfriend with the bf how much of the lip flap do you get? Yada 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 yada. He doesn't talk that much. He's very quiet. I'm more. Oh, so if we were to if we were to get him in here, he'd go. Oh, she never shuts up. Yeah, that. And and I never listen to that. Oh, he uh, listens. He does. Yeah. That is a surprise. He's had a few black eyes. He's learned. That is a surprise. You know, y'all play them kind of games. See, you better watch out. This woman is tough. Romance. Romance. Okay. 
this class at nine. Now you, you've had more than you both had more than one boyfriend, correct? Mm -hmm. I mean, beautiful women like yourselves. Mm -hmm. You both have more than one boyfriend in in your romantic career, as it were. Did you ever dump a guy just because he wouldn't listen? <laughs> I don't think that was like the sole reason, but it's definitely played a factor. Mm -hmm. So you would say if to to guys, if you were giving advice to guys, that listening is fairly important, very important, the most important thing they can do. I'd probably say one of the most important things you can do. Okay. Especially with girls, like we want to be heard. Yeah. We want to we be know that. Understood. Yeah, understood. My opinion counts. <laughs> Even I know we say stupid stuff all the time and. Talk about the dumbest things, but it's just nice to know that people are there listening. Question from the audience? You got it? Do you have a question? I do. James? Oh, he got a question. Oh, okay. Steven? Question for the uh, young lady in the blue shirt. Um, Remember, this is not Jerry Springer. This is more David Letterman. <laughs> okay. Get out of here. Does that like me? Woo! All right. Sorry. Question, Bye, question for the lady in the blue shirt. That's Melody. Are you single? Right now, yes, I am. Okay, okay. I like that. Just check it. Yeah, what kind of question is that? Question. Are you asking her out? Are you asking her out, Are you trying to buy me dinner later or what? Well, I mean, I do like Applebee's, you know. Strawberry lemonade is my taste, so. You know, I'm single myself. I got one last question for you, ladies, that I want to discuss. What do guys do when they listen? Do guys listen for feelings, or do guys listen to fix the problem? No. Do guys listen? Do listen Kate, you're saying fix, listen fix the problem? Fix the problem. Yeah. Hmm. Is, is that, does that get annoying when what you really want is, is for them to hear your feelings and they're trying to fix things? I usually just look for that. I'm sorry. It was my fault. Ah! So, oh, so in terms of in terms of keeping your relationship together, <laughs> listening comes first, and then I'm sorry, it's my fault. Comes second. Yeah. Got it. Okay. It happened yesterday. Okay. He totally like swore at me. I'm like, does making up ever And so come he's like, I'm um, just like, he tried to grab my hand, and I'm like. It's like, I'm sorry for sure. It's like, oh, okay. Mm. So I'm sorry it's my fault is a really important thing. For She's a little controlling, I see. Gentlemen, mm -hmm. we, we like to say this say. together. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry it's my fault. I'm sorry. With flowers. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. And I love you. Yeah. Yeah. Like remember, gentlemen, yeah. remember, <laughs> gentlemen <laughs> it takes a big man <laughs> to admit when he it takes a big man. <laughs> To admit when he's wrong, and it takes a bigger man to admit thing. when he's wrong when he's not. <laughs> no? Okay, ladies, thank you so much for being thank with us you today. For us. Thank you, audience, for being. Let's give a big hand. And back to you, Ron, in the studios. Back to you in the, back to you in the newsroom, Stephen. Thanks, Taryn. Yeah, we're thank on you, today's news. We're having. Taryn, thank you very much. Uh -huh. All right, guys. So we're we're gonna quit a little bit early. Camera off. Yeah, turn the camera off.